friends. We're going to do calendar now. So today is the last day in November. So let's do our days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Today is Monday, November 30th, 2020. We have had 63 days of school. So let us count by fives and then we'll add our ones. Are you ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and now we have to count by our ones. 61, 62, 63. We have had 63 days of school. Here's another way of showing that. There are three ones and there are six tens. So six tens and three ones make 63. Uriah had, her, uh, Uriah had a birthday on Saturday. So um, then... We have filled our birthday board with one. No new teeth. And let's do our devotion. We'll do a different devotion book today. It's called A Hand Up. With my God, I can scale a wall. Second Samuel 2230. Alex clung to the climbing wall, breathing hard. He was near the top. Over two stories high, he had a harness on, and the man was holding his safety rope. But as Alan glanced down, he thought, what if I slip Again, way up here, and this time the rope comes out of his hand. You can do it, Alex, shouted his friend Jake, standing below. Alex looked up. Part of his wanted to quit. He was tired, and he couldn't decide which finger hold to try next. Some were easy to hold on to, but if he grabbed the wrong one, God help me to not be afraid, Alex prayed. Show me the way to go. Give me the strength to make it. He studied the finger holds above him. The one on the left seemed to stand out above from the others. Bracing himself, he lunged for it. His fingers found a good grip. Muscles shaking, he worked his way up to the last few feet, and he punched the buzzer. God promises to be with you and help you. He is never afraid, he is never tired, and he always knows what to do. Whatever you're trying to achieve, you can trust God to be there and lend a helping hand. <clears throat> I am the Lord your God who takes a hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Isaiah forty-one thirteen. So we should remember that, especially now when things can seem kind of scary and like we don't know what to do or maybe things are out of our control. We just can remember that God is the one in control and we don't have to worry about things that seem scary um, or what to do. Scott, God will be, be there to help us. And let's pray. Let's pray the this one today. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask you to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in your tender care and take us to heaven to live with you there. Amen.